19-year-old police constable killed in car crash along North Coast Highway. St. Catherine, Jamaica, a police constable died as a result of injuries he sustained in a two-vehicle collision along the North Coast Highway on Wednesday. The deceased has been identified as 19-year-old Christopher Ricketts. He was assigned to the St. James Division. According to the Falmouth Police, at about 11.50 p.m., Ricketts was driving a Mazda Demio motor car with his colleague on board in the vicinity of the Zion community when he collided with a Toyota Fielder. From information received, the Toyota Fielder motor car was traveling from the direction of Montego Bay towards St. Anne whilst the Mazda Demio motor car was traveling in the opposite direction. On reaching a section of the North Coast Highway, the driver of the Mazda Demio reportedly overtook a line of vehicles and collided with the Fielder. Ricketts was reportedly thrown from the car and received multiple injuries. The other occupants of both vehicles were taken to the Falmouth Hospital for treatment. The police high command pressed their condolences to Ricketts' family and friends and shared that the force's chaplaincy branch and welfare department will be providing support to anyone who may need it. Samuels wants more facilities for homeless amid fatal attacks in St. James. Acting Senior Superintendent of Police in Charge of St. James, Iran Samuels, is calling for the facilities in the parish for the homeless to be expanded to help prevent attacks on these persons. Samuels says this is needed arising from the murders of five homeless people in Montego Bay between July and August. Samuels made the call while speaking at today's monthly meeting of the St. James Municipal Corporation. We had a series of murders that took place in Montego Bay and we tried to keep it down based on the trend that we recognized because we never wanted to create public panic about persons going and killing homeless persons within the parish. We set up a task force that dealt with it and I am pleased to announce that we captured that killer and have since charged him with four counts of murder, Samuels told the meeting. Between July 28th and August 20th this year, five homeless people were killed and two others wounded in separate attacks that took place in sections of Montego Bay, with all the victims reportedly being stabbed with a sharp instrument while they were sleeping. The police have since arrested and Ronaldo Ricketts in connection with four of the five murders, for which he is to be brought before the St. James Parish Court on September 20. Ricketts reportedly confessed to the attacks after he was taken into custody on August 30 for allegedly attempting to abduct and rape a woman while posing as a taxi operator. It puts into focus that we still need to expand the facilities for the homeless persons within the parish. I believe the opportunity creates itself for persons who have that sort of tendency when you have so many homeless persons on the street, that they can try to mimic that act again, said Samuels.